Hey there, guys. Um, uh, this is a uh, technology and hobby, uh, and uh, I'm making a video uh, about how I'm shooting my uh, my cinematic, uh, uh, you know, video footage. Um, so, one of uh, like one of the comments said uh, whether if I can could uh, shoot a tutorial how I'm doing this. So here we go. First, I'm choosing a lens with which I'm going to shoot because uh, basically if you want to get a cinematic vintage look like 90s or 80s, basically you're going to choose a proper lens for it. Uh, it's not only color grading, no. You have to use a specific lenses because those lenses have their own character uh, and uh, most of the times um, lenses uh, pull off that kind of cinematic look. Uh, so first, I have this uh, Jupiter 9. Uh, this is a 85 millimeter lens. This is a cinema lens. Uh, it, it says over here, let me focus it right here. Uh, here we go. See? It's uh, 85 millimeter f2.0, uh, declicked aperture, wonderful, very smooth, but very heavy as well. Um, and plus, it's uh, it's kind of decent size. It's not too small, but it it actually gets the job done. So this is uh, if I want to shoot something like uh, a little bit of more portrait, you know, with uh, more bokeh or in low light, for example. I don't have uh, you know any faster lens than this. Uh, in my country, um, uh, kit lenses cost uh, like absurd amount of money. So I don't have that kind of money, but I'm I'm getting off. I'm actually uh, in like getting away using these old lenses, which which in my post-Soviet Union country, we have a bunch of them. So plus they're cheap. Uh, next one uh, is uh, this 50 millimeter uh, f 3.5. This this is a uh, the a slowest one I have f 3.5 all the way up to f 16. <clears throat> Also, declicked aperture, uh, very small lens, as you can see. It, it actually looks like a toy, uh, and it works really, really well uh, in in a good lighting condition. And uh, it got it's got this uh, unique look of a, a little bit warm. How should I say it? Because it's got this special coating on the other side. You can barely see it. Uh, it's got special coating, actually. It, here we go. See, it's got a special coating, which will give you that that special look that you're looking for. Uh, next one, the, the the widest one I have this uh, this 28 millimeter f 2.8. This is a Indostar 69. Uh, this is f 2.0. It's got this crazy vignetting going on on the edges, and basically I'm using this if I want to shoot some some cinematic footage. Uh, from 60s or even 50s uh, with a little bit of a grading but uh, it's it's got a uh, you know it's 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 got a special thread it's it's not m42 like these lenses it's a m39 a little bit smaller so I got the special adapter for it uh, nothing I mean nothing fancy this uh, Fotka uh, m39 to USM it's very cheap, basically. I don't know about now, but like about like uh, you know, last year it was really cheap. So I paid like seven bucks for this. So just through like, you know, thread like that. It's a very very small lens. It's even smaller than than this guy over here. So very very unique lens. Very interesting one. And the last one, what I, I mean, which I'm using uh, most of the times. This is uh, this 30, uh, 35, or I'm sorry, just a minute, uh, 37 millimeter, yeah, 37 millimeter f2.8. This is a Mir 1V, Mir means world in Russian. It's a very, very uh, solid, you know, solid lens, but unfortunately when I bought it, uh, it was, it was completely, see, if you, if you can hear. It actually rattles like that. Uh, it's because uh, this this lens was uh, you know like used uh, heavily. As you can see, it's very very loose. 
even uh, the focusing ring is loose but but it works it, it actually gets the job done and with this special coating uh, on on the layers of the lenses uh, you can see it's a uh, it's a wonderful wonderful piece so uh, uh, I mean yesterday uh, the 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 the, we, the video sequence that I'm sh uh, you know that I shot um, I was using this lens most of the times and then during like uh, like in the evening I used this lens the Jupiter 9 the f 2.0 aperture one uh, and the and the past ones I was using this 50 millimeter f 3.5 and this guy but this is more rarely because uh, you're gonna need a specific, you know, specific uh, foot. I mean, uh, how should I say, it's, uh, a scenario to use this guy. So this is it. Now let's go uh, up to a laptop, and I'll show you how I'm grading it. So here we are on a desktop, and uh, let's go and import our footage into an MLV app. So. First, we go to my computer and we go to SD card and we go to CMD. And here we are. We have this all MLV app files. And, uh, we gotta uh, take our MLV app, which is free. You can Google it and download it uh, with a first, first come up result. And, uh, and just can drag and drop files to it and it will appear inside of you, inside of this list here we have already clicked on a, one of those files and we can adjust it uh, we can do it one by one but I have already made a preset for you so it will be easy for you to copy it and modify it to to suit your needs I, uh, one of those, you know, I mean, some of those settings I've copied from, from Zeke's channel. Some of them I, I have modified it. Oh, sorry. Let's just import the recept from edit, just like that. And this cinema look. Uh, yes. And it become a little bit dark. Well, that's uh, not to worry. We can adjust it. Here we go. Now, uh, all the presets that I made over here, you can copy it. I'm, I'm just going to scroll down very slowly so you could easily copy them. You can pause and write down or copy it just like that, the way you want. Um, this setting over here, this, this raw white level, can see we have pink highlights we don't need pink highlights right it's 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 not professional uh, we can bump up this setting see it just it just got it just gone a little bit but still it, it remains over here that's because the highlights were clipped uh, but thanks to uh, the the MLV files those those raw files can easily modify them you can bump up the exposure just like that and see the pink highlight just completely gone but sometimes if even this doesn't work you can go downstairs to the highlight section and you can bump up the highlights from minus 64 all the way up to I don't know minus 35 or even 40 and the highlights the pink highlights will turn white so basically, you're kind of returning those clipped pink highlights their own color, because uh, the they you know the way they used to be, uh, not not downscaling it because it will appear pink again because the area is clipped already. We cannot do anything about it, but it is easily fixable in here. Now the rest over here, I'm just gonna scroll down really slow. The temperature is 5600. Uh, basically, you can play around from 32 all the way up to 60. I mean, uh, I mean 5600 uh, because this is uh, this is a golden middle uh, of this celluloid look 
basically can make it look a little bit warmer uh, okay then these the clarity minus 20 uh, to get it to 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 pull off the grains okay like that basically um, these presets uh, will make your footage look more cinematic now profile preset you can select a film look see you just press it it will it, it will not do anything right now but but in your case when you're doing it first time when it's not a preset you know, basically uh, the the footage will will turn a little bit more warmer to 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 to, uh, to emulate that that celluloid look now we go downstairs uh, we're not touching this Rec 709. Now the sharpness. Once we bump down the clarity to minus 20, we need something to compensate it. Uh, so we can uh, bump up the sharpness all the way up to 100. It will be somewhere in here in the middle. We can go up all the way up to 100. So because we don't we don't our footage to look like a uh, like it was shot on a toy camera, right? No, nobody wants that. Now, this section over here, the the denoise section, I'm not going to use it because it will make uh, it will make footage like you know, like painting. It, it looks like painting because basically it smooths out the pictures. It, it will not you know pulls off the grain. Basically, it will turn it to a to a pile of mush. So we don't need that. Now. Um, the rest the hue versus hue these are my presets you can you can copy them as well uh, these are uh, a this these are the presets which uh, Zeke uses and I also uh, you know add a, a little bit of a touch of this uh, hue versus uh, luminescence um, it will turn your footage it will turn your footage a little bit more warm and afterwards you can go down to hue and bump it up to 18 uh, use the, the 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 orange color uh, it will again emulate the celluloid look and the strengths I'm putting it on a 5 uh, but your choices may vary okay it depends on a shot basically if you're shooting uh, like uh, in uh, like like in a sunset you can go down uh, all the way to uh, three or four even two and and the hue goes all the way up to all the way down to ten because uh, you know during the sunsets uh, the, the, the the visionary the scenery is already orange so we don't we don't want to add more orange to the scene now uh, I'm gonna uh, go to this place over here the gears I'm just gonna press it I'm exporting it into H.264 because my laptop cannot support anything higher than this. It's really old. Basically an old Core i5, uh, second generation, and 8 gigs of RAM, and SSD. That's very, very old. And, and integrated graphics, you, you know, you won't do much. But in terms of 1080p, you can pretty easily get away. So, but there are tons of options over here. Uh, tons, tons of options. So, uh, preset uh, resize to 1080p, but you can resize it uh, all the way up to 2.5K because, you know, a raw uh, MLV files have enough information and, in, in, and it gives you enough room to, you know, to, to bump up the resolution so it will not lose anything. Well, almost anything. So uh, let's close it up. Now go to over here on this section. See, right here. Press it and export it. I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna do it because I, I have already exported it. Now let's go to Sony Vegas and import our file. Here we have our file, and I have already put it onto a timeline. Right here. And I'm gonna use. Uh, I'm gonna go to tools. Go to video, and video 
media fx and here we have uh we have already chosen the the, the color a a color corrector we go to custom and we go to highlights now why we go to highlights as you can see it's already preset i, I i've already uh, you know messed it you know you know messed around with it but uh when you open it first this play this thing is over here as you can see the sky is is orange we don't need sky to be orange we need it to be blue nice and beautiful just take this and see just like this just play around to find a sweet spot just there see and I'm bumping up uh, the the saturations the, the the saturation will be over here I'm taking it and bump it up just like a tad just just right there uh, match with this gamma uh, you know preset and that's it this is it and then go to a crop area crop section and just mess around with this uh, with this crop factor and go all the way down to 918.2 this will give you this kind of cool letterboxing because I don't have you know specific lenses that will squeeze the footage and I'm kind of emulating it in post so there we go and now I'm gonna export it into 1080p 24 frames per second and you can enjoy it thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one